Hello. Yeah, hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mohammed Amjad Basha. So I'm working as a technical uh, specialist for engineering solutions. So basically, I'm a mining engineer. Uh, did my BTEC in mining engineering from uh, Kothagadam School of Mines and worked in uh, various mining companies like Vedanta Aluminium Limited, Tata Consulting Engineers, and currently I'm associated with EDS Technologies Private Limited. So today I'll be explaining about the brief, give a brief uh, introduction of these application of mine tanning software using the SEPAC software. So before going into the presentation, I'll just give a glimpse of my company. So our company is ADS Technologies. Uh, we have a mission called, uh, you know, to provide high quality PLM, that is uh, product, product life cycle management and uh, visual simulation solutions and uh, delivering the value to the customers uh, by taking their ownership uh, of the projects and then delivering high quality results uh, in a timely and cost efficient manner. So this is how, where uh, we stand. And these are the different, uh, uh, we are having different offices across India. So like uh, 16 locations uh, in India and with uh, 200 plus associates and with uh, 1500 plus customers. And we are in India since uh, past two decades. And we are having these uh, business solutions. So these are the industries uh, which we target, like uh, for PLM solutions, we target for automotive industries and then aerospace. And for enterprise solutions uh, for all the industries and then visual simulations we have for defense uh, industries. And for mining solutions, we have different products under the GOVIA brand. And apart from that, uh, we are having engineering services also, uh, which comes under CAD, CAM, CA implementation, and also the SAP or Innovia. And uh, these are our strategic partners, uh, which uh, we do the sales and then give support. So that's all systems, SAP and uh, Presages, Netlink. So these are our uh, major uh, partners. So coming to the uh, presentation. So normally you, everyone knows that mining is the process of uh, extracting a naturally occurring mineral from the earth to derive a profit. So profit is the major uh, concern for mining. So we. We confine our discussion of mining to the extraction of the following mineral. So due to the time constraint, I'll just explain about the software regarding the metallic uh, ores. So that is bulk deposits or any other vein type of deposits. So these we know that uh, ancient mine was in England, which was exploited about like, uh, for example, say 3000 to 1900 BC to recover flint. So that's the first mine uh, and that too is the underground mine. And while mining, we have uh, five stages. So one is uh, prospecting, so to see whether any mineral is there under be, below the subsurface or not. And then after we know that uh, the mineral exists here, then we do the exploration. So after exploration, we go for the development uh, that is uh, to start the mining activity and then exploitation that is uh, doing the production of our minerals. And then the final step is the reclamation. So these are the different mining stages uh, we have. And uh, this software uh, will be applied after exploration. So once exploration has been done, so for de development, exploitation, and reclamation, so these softwares, these mining softwares of GeoVIA can be applied. So normally, uh, so these are the theoretical. So uh, you, as a college uh, professor, you know these stage of stages. So normally uh, this software uh, is used uh, for entire mining life cycle, starting from your uh, exploration to the exclamation. And for mining, uh, mine planning solutions, we have uh, different solutions under GeoVIA brand. So this brand uh, previously known as the Gemcom software. So once it was acquired by the Salt Systems in 2012, so the brand name has renamed to GeoVIA. The, but uh, the product remains same. So under GeoVIA, we have products like uh, Surpack, so which is uh, used for uh, non-stratified deposits. And uh, we have Minex software, uh, which is used for stratified deposits. So the, both are the general mine planning package, which is used for uh, resource modeling, as well as your uh, mine designing and planning. And uh, we have a Vital software to do the financial analysis of a mining project. So nowadays, uh, you know, coal block auctions has been canceled and various projects uh, coming down. 
So before starting the project, you know to evaluate whether uh, we can go for the project or not. So this gives the financial analysis and uh, this will do the feasibility studies. So in college, maybe you are doing the feasibility studies of a few mines. So it, during that, uh, it, Vital software may be helpful for you. And the Mineshed is the software which uh, does the scheduling for long term or long short term scheduling. So based on your the requirement of the mines, so you can schedule and then you can implement these schedules into the real time scenario. And we have insight. So it collates the progress of production activities against the plan means what you have planned. That means what you have scheduled and what you have achieved. So what's the difference between them and where the problem is coming? So where you have to improve in order to overcome those uh, problems or overcome those errors. So, and coming to the application of these different softwares. So uh, Subpack, Mindshed and Vital as told are used for metal and other than coal modeling software, especially in India, because uh, uh, for bauxite and limestone also in India, customers are using Subpack software because bauxite and limestone in India are not true stratified deposits. And uh, for true stratified deposits like coal in India, we are using Minex software. And Vital is for pit optimization and it is limited to the open cast mining only. Whereas Subpack and Minex are uh, used for both open cast mining and then underground mining. And Mineshed is for production and scheduling of uh, open cast mines as well as your underground mines. So you can do the scheduling of any other open cast or uh, underground. And we have hub for secure remote data management. So this is like SAP of mining industry. And uh, insight for production management. And these are the different fields uh, where these softwares can be applied, where one is your surveying. So the basic uh, requirement of any industry that uh, before starting production or before going for exploration, so you start with the surveying. You you have to know the location where you are drilling. You have to know the location where you are mining. So it, and you have to calculate the volume, how much you have mined or how much you have dumped. So for that case, yeah, surveying uh, application is required. So apart from surveying, uh, the software can also be applied in geological resource modeling. So once exploration has been done, you have to determine the, your ore body and you have to estimate your resources, how much resources are available below the subsurface so that you can mine those resources uh, profitably and the reserve estimation so once our body modeling has been done you have to estimate your reserves and do the man designing so mine designing means how you have to excavate or how you have to extract those minerals below the surface and dump designing so once you have ex extracted the minerals so you apart from that you will be extracting the waste also so you have to dump some in your mining lease area only. So for that case, you have to design your dump area and then you have to see whether those waste material will be accommodated in there or not. And then coming to the mine scheduling. So uh, you have to you have to schedule your mines before going for, you know, day to day planning or for weekly planning. So for that mine scheduling will be required and uh, pit optimization to do the financial analysis of your mine. And these are the various customers uh, in India, particularly for academic institutions like ITBHU is having SAPAC uh, and uh, Vital softwares and IIT Kadaku, ISM is having SAPAC, Minex and Vital and uh, BESC, uh, say in Shippur, Kolkata and the College of Technology and Engineering, Udaipur, Department of Geology, Goa University and Nagpur is also is having VNIT and uh, NIT at Surat Road Gala. And apart from these, uh, recently uh, NIT Raipur has purchased uh, both Sapac and Minex software, and we have given training to them uh, in two uh, separate batches. So uh, two batches have been trained by us in uh, college itself, and they are planning to buy a few more licenses so that uh, uh, they, each student can use uh, software independently. And coming to the Serpac, why Serpac uh, is uh, so much important uh, in our mining industry. So Serpac is the most widely used software of system of its kind in the world because it supports both open pit and underground mining operations and also the exploration projects in more than 120 countries apart from India. And Serpac enables mining practitioners like uh, ourselves, like educational uh, institutions and then mining uh, companies to quantify and evaluate the mineral deposits. So especially Serpac is for non-stratified and to plan the efficient extraction of those reserves. 
So if we cannot efficiently extract those results, then there is no value where if you are extracting like you know like a mining mining law or sign mining. So it has to be efficiently extracted. And these are the few benefits apart from the other uh, softwares which are having in mining industry. So Surpack reduces uh, data duplication and interfaces with uh, common file formats like with GeoSense applications. So in college, you will be having maybe GIS or map info. So it, you can use those data into the Surpack and then work on that. And then you can import your survey data and generation of a 3D surface. So if once you have surveyed uh, your entire topography or entire mine, so we can Im import that survey data and create a 3D surface to calculate the volumes or to con uh, generate the contours. And easy and instantaneous generation of different type of contour plans, geological data management, and geological section preparation. So this is very much useful for you know over body modeling. And then resource modeling and estimation by various methods. So normally we have various methods for estimation of these resources. And it's a very user friendly software. So you can learn, uh, we give a training of five days and then you can start working on that. So it's a very user friendly. So commands and windows and everything. And it's a modular and easily customized. So based on the requirement, uh, modules can be purchased and it can be customized as per the customer needs. So these are the different modules uh, we have in Surpack. One is the standard features, which will use, be useful for uh, you know, displaying your data in a 3D modeling environment and then do the plotting or uh, create or work with any point or line data. So if you want to import your AutoCAD data, so you can import those. And then create a 3D surface of a line or point data. And then you can also do the scripting. So if students or if yourself or well that's with uh, C, C++, so you can create a scripting and then you can reduce the steps to be done for a particular work. And in optional modules, we have tools like uh, auto plotting data plugins. And uh, in geology, we are having a geological drill hole database. Once exploration has been done, you can create a database from that exploration data. And you can do the basic statistics. So you have to evaluate how uh, the exploration has been done, what uh, data can be useful, and uh, what is the statistics of your data. So to all these, you can do the basic statistics and also the geostatistics to analyze uh, the trend of your own body. So in which direction your own body is continuous or how the, uh, your own body is behaving, how you can estimate your own body based on that. So, uh, and then you can do the solid modeling that uh, you can create a 3D own body model using the solid modeling and then block modeling, which will be useful for estimation of your resources. And we have dynamic shells and then mesh tools. So these may be useful during the exploration. And coming to the engineering, we have pit and dump design, where you can design your pit and as well as a dump. And road design, which is for X pit hall road. So if for in pit hall road, you can create or design those in pit hall roads with pit and dump design modules. And if you want to design your roads outside the pit or outside the dump, uh, in a topography, you can use the road design module. And then drill and blast design, so where you can design, charge, and report your surface blast tone patterns. And then you can see if you are drilling in that particular area, how much volume can be uh, extracted. So all these data can be uh, extracted from the drill and blast design. And the stop design tools and underground ring design are especially for underground uh, mine designing operations. And in survey, we have uh, surface and underground surveying, which will be useful if you are uh, want if you want to connect your uh, survey stations or any other uh, dgps uh, equipment to the directly the surpack direct to the system and then you can access the data in surpack itself and uh, this is the application of uh, surpack software especially in surveying you can directly download or upload your survey data through any of your total stations or any dgps instruments so recently we have uh, release new version so which uh, handles the, the drone survey data also so drone survey is like a big data management so now we have improved our sort of software so much that uh, it can handle that much of big data uh, from generated from the drone survey and the input via total station uh, or any of the gps instruments will produce a three dimensional ready to plot plans on also you can produce contours or sections from that uh, three dimensional data 
and then it is very easy and accurate estimation of uh, volume for pre and post excavation so if you are mining you can see uh, how much what is the difference between last month and this month uh, excavation has been done so this is uh, very easy for uh, calculating this volumes and this is an example of a plotting so once you have a survey data of mine and then you have imported the data into the survey you can take a plot plans and this is an example of a plot plan which has been created in SAPAC. And these are the sections. So you can extract the various sections. So it may be horizontal sections or vertical sections or any oblique sections. So you can extract your sections from your survey data in any direction and as well as you can generate your contour plan. So there is no uh, such requirement that uh, you can generate in 0.5 interval, yeah, one interval. So you can generate your contours in any interval as per your requirement. And uh, this is an example of uh, a screenshot the way volume has been calculated from two DTM surfaces. So here DTM is nothing but digital terrain model. We call it surface as a DTM surface. And this is the other example of a cut and fill volume report. And coming to the geology, the application of uh, SOPEX software, especially in geology, is to create your borehole database from the exploration data. And uh, once the borehole database has been created, you can visualize those boreholes in a 3D graphics window. And you can take a, uh, create a borehole logs from the database and create a geological plans and uh, the sections. So once the geological sections has been created, so you have uh, you know determined how your own body is behaving. So you can wireframe those and create a own body model based on the geology or based on your grade. So you can write from your own body based on both lithology or a grade also. And then you can do the block modeling to estimate your grade by various interpolation methods. We have like inverse square distance, ordinary rigging, and uh, you know simple rigging are uh, various interpolation methods. And you can compute your geological and mineable reserves at different cutoff level and the block model refinement. So once the block model has been created, so you can refine your block model uh, during the mining operation. So this will be useful one. In, uh, so this block model refinement uh, mainly does in the mining industry. We are currently mining the resources. And this is an example uh, like left side, you can see the raw data of the exploration data. And in right side, you'll see uh, the data managed uh, uh, into a CSV format so that it can be imported in Surpack. So once it's imported in Surpack, so you can utilize your boreholes both in a 3D graphics window or in a plan view also. And uh, these boreholes are colored based on uh, the color coding of a lithology. And these are the examples of geological cross sections. So once the geological cross sections have been created for all the boreholes, so you can create a 3D ore body model. So this is how your ore body will be uh, having. This is an example of your ore body below the subsurface of a particular project. So this is how you can visualize your ore body. And then this is an example of a block model. So once ore body has been created, you can divide all those blocks into mining blocks, and then you can estimate those resources. And then these blocks are colored based on the FE grade of a deposit. And then these are the various estimation methods. So one is inverse distance, ordinary triggering, simple triggering, nearest number. And apart from that, we have uh, geostatistics library estimation methods also. And uh, this is an output of a resource of reserve reporting. So once you have estimated your resources, you can do the reporting of those resources or reserves. And uh, you can extract the slice plans of a block model. That means at a particular RL, what are the kinds of ore? Uh, what are the grades you are uh, available to extract? So that's how a slice plan can be created from the block model. And this, and once your resource model has been estimated, you can do the fit designing. So based on the requirement of regulatory authorities like IBM or DGMS, so you can design your pitch. And this pit can be designed with different slopes in different areas. So we may be having uh, uh, different uh, geological zones. So based on the geological zone, so we can have different slopes in different areas. And it means within the pit, we can uh, design a ramp circular as well as all cut ramps. And this pit can be limited to the ore zone only. So as we avoid our waste wide wasteful mining. And this is an example of an open pit design. So once you have digitized, uh, created your pit and then created a surface, 
this is how you can look your pit and uh, this is the pit design designed uh, in a hilly area so where you find the benches in one side only but in valley side you will not find any benches so this is how uh, mining of a uh, hilly area can be done and once pit design has been completed then you have to design your jump design because you have to accommodate your waste material so you can select the location for dump designing and then you can generate a string and then from that you can design a 3d surface of a dump and then you calculate the volume and see whether that particular dump will accommodate all those waste excavated from the pit or not so if it's not excavated then you have to select another area and then you have to design another dump and uh, these are the plot plans of a slice plan from the block model and uh, this is an example of a drill hole plotting so once a database has been created you can uh, go for the drill hole log creation so where you can see the depth of the borehole and types of lithology available and what are the ore types and what is the grade available and what is the you know, sample length in that borehole. And these are the different uh, section plots. And uh, coming to the you know, uh, benefits of uh, Geovia, particularly in economic license program, so we, it includes industry standard technology in the curriculum and training and support on the software usages. So when you have purchased the software, so it's not like you have software purchased and then we left. So we will give the training and then we will give the support on the software usages and we will guide your students. So, so if any student is interested to do their project using the software, using the GeoVia software, so we will support them and then uh, we will assist them to complete their project and uh, we also provide students the technical skills they need to enter the web source so before joining any mining industry so if they need any technical skills based on the software so we are very much you know happy to assist them and enable students to work find uh, to find work faster by gaining valuable experience with the industry's widely used software so as you know, so Sertag is widely used uh, software in India and uh, in entire uh, world. So it's a very widely used software. So you can uh, learn the software and then you can add the value. So once industry knows that you know, a student knows the mining software like a Sertag, then uh, it like it uh, adds a value to them. And uh, we have economic uh, discounted price, which uh, suits for the economic institutions. So it's not like we have uh, we have different uh, prices for commercial and then academic. So we give uh, huge discounts for the academic institutions. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, if any queries are there, please uh, let me know. And uh, if you want to, you know, uh, write a mail. Uh, so this is my email ID. You can write a mail to this email ID and then. We will revert back to you. Yeah. Thank you all.